I recently made a guest video for the White Sea Studios channel, in which I talked about the way the Dynamics algorithm works in Pro-Q3. And it's been pointed out to me that I misspoke. I suggested that the FabFilter team were the first to create a type of compression that can control microdynamics without affecting the macrodynamics. And of course, that's not the case. Soundradix's Power Air compressor can do something very similar. With the adaptive slider turned up, the compressor threshold rides up and down according to the average levels detected by the leveler section. I knew this perfectly well, having made the Power Air introduction video. And indeed, Power Air is an important part of my usual voiceover chain. However, while Power Air gives you full control over the compression parameters, the FabFilter team have succeeded in creating automatic, program-dependent settings that just work as you'd expect in most cases. And that's the part I should really have given the FabFilters credit for. I hope that clears things up, and I hope the Soundradix team will accept my apologies. <laughs>